So today, people, we're checking out another new weapon to the game, and it's called the Chaosin. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG, and today I'll bring you another BR free video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also, guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices with great weekly deals, check out G2A linked within that video description. So the Kielsen is a new Dahl SMG exclusive to Mayhem 6 and above and it drops from Captain Tron to Panathenus and comes offering all elements, so that is a bonus. It can drop in a variety of different variants too, with some bigger mags doing less damage and vice versa, and it also being able to switch between any two modes of full auto, semi auto and burst fire. Its party trick is its projectile stick then later explode. A little like the clairvoyance, but that's only crit shots. This thing, it doesn't matter where you hit the enemy. So this weapon, like many of the Mayhem 6 Plus legendaries, seems to be a super rare drop. Well, at least for me anyway. I farm for so long trying to get a decent version of this, but only getting those trash variants. But a couple of pals of mine came through with much better roles, which means I can bring you this video. So shout out to Carl's Copy and Jame Doug 1997 so with decent SMGs in its family like the Hawking and the Crater, I actually went into testing this thing with a little optimism. I mean for the most part these Mayhem 6 and above legendaries ain't been that great, the Monarch in my opinion being the best. But I was kinda optimistic with this thing. Now looking at the variants I have, really for an SMG on paper they all do quite decent damage. Lower mag variants though do do extra damage, but it isn't considerably higher. Now although the damage is nice, what stood out to me is this thing's fire rate. That's quick, even for an SMG. And knowing that this thing's party trick is pretty cool, I knew this indeed could be a great great weapon. So as you can see on screen now, the initial damage of hitting a test dummy is roughly 50k. I mean damage number here doesn't really matter, it isn't really relevant. But we see that the stuck projectile also does the same damage upon exploding. So that alone is pretty great, it doubles up its damage. So experiencing this, I had high hopes going into battle with this thing, to test its power. So I went into the slaughter shaft on Mayhem 10, usual build in which I test everything, nothing in reality, applying extra damage via my artifacts or class mod, it's mainly just for reload, accuracy and mag sizes. So using this against some of the toughest enemies I can tell you guys, is actually a very very capable weapon. Its damage output isn't the best I've seen, that's for sure, but it's still very, very good indeed. I do feel, however, it's more of a weapon I feel people will look for, rather than need. The additional explosions are nice and add a great addition in terms of damage output. What I will say is, look for a full auto variant, or one that's semi-auto if you don't mind spamming that trigger. Burst fires, in my opinion, take away a lot of DPS due to the pause between bursts. But yeah, I actually seriously like this weapon, it's super accurate. Also in which you aim seems to help that even more, it's got a crazy fire rate, it's got a decent damage too, I mean it's mag size is obviously low but due to the additional damage being caused by the explosions, it actually feels upon you using this that you are still firing during reload, as crazy as that sounds because of the explosions and the delay with them. But yeah, I actually like this, it's probably the best new SMG we have now from the Revenge of the Cartels and Mayhem 6 Plus. So go get this thing, again it drops from Captain Tron upon Athenus. An easy farm if you know what you are doing. But on that note, we have come to the end guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.